Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a very exciting unboxing. It is another Chanel bag. I know twice in a row it's been a whirlwind, especially with this bag. So without further ado, I'm going to reveal it and I have been using it. And of course, as usual, I'm going to do mod shots and I'm going to also do a comparison since I can, <laughs> if that's a clue. It's a big dust bag. Oh, I love this bag so much. To reveal the 22 bag in the small size again yay still in black leather and gold hardware but the font in the middle the Chanel branding is in white and I actually really, really love that. In fact, I think I love this version more. And so I am super excited to get this bag back in my life. For those of you who might be watching my channel for the very first time, I owned this bag last year in June. Something happened to it and Chanel took it back. Ever since then, I've missed it and I really want to get it back and I'm kind of taking a chance because obviously this bag is known to have issues. As you all know, I also have the mini version. Because they're totally different sizes, they do kind of wear differently and style differently. So it makes total sense to compare them with different outfits. This is the part where I thank today's video sponsor, which is Lily Silk. They've provided me a few new items from their fall winter collection. I'm gonna start with my favorite outfit, which I am currently wearing. This is your classic stripe ultra fine merino wool slim fit sweater with a ribbed collar. It's so comfortable. The merino wool at Lily Silk is exceptionally smooth. It's the finest wool that you can get so it's so soft and it's um has good elasticity. I paired it with these oh these pants you guys get it please because it is so good it has become my favorite pair of pants which i've worn several times for different outfits this is my favorite pair of wide leg pants for the winter why because again it is also a wool material it's a really nice drapey wool i love the pattern on it gray black and white but it's really just a gray it's almost like a heathered gray color it has nice pleats in front and you guys know i love this it's elasticated at the back so that it cinches in at your waist but it's not going to suffocate you so it's absolutely the most gorgeous and the most well tailored pants and they're so comfortable guys because they are a wool material it's sort of like that thin wool that is good for spring fall and winter folded hem it's slightly long on me i will admit so i have to wear heels with this or i can maybe just fold up once more at the bottom but this pair of pants absolutely has been my favorite to dress up any dressier outfits in the winter because in the winter i'm so cold all i want is to just like sweatshirt and sweatpants the thick ones but when i have to go out in a nice setting then i rely on something like this and this has been my go-to it goes with all kinds of different tops I've worn it with my Hermes cashmere. Let's talk about my second outfit. I have this top that I got oh, quite a while ago. What I like about it is that it gives a lot of Hermes vibes. It has a very thin wool. So it's really, really great as a light cardigan in the summertime. Even if you live in a hot country, this is quite lightweight. Like you can see it's quite lightweight, it's very airy. The silk in front also has some elasticity. The only thing about fit for me is that the sleeves are so long, so I have to fold them up, but they do look great on even when they're folded up. The other pair of pants that I'm featuring in this video, there is something about loose pants or wide-legged pants that I'm really attracted to nowadays maybe it's because my style is changing again i used to only be in skinny jeans skinny jeans and skinny jeans only flowy pants or wide-legged pants are actually so comfortable and they're so easy to style because anything tucks in very beautifully it can look so elegant especially when your top is a little bit more fitted deep brown chocolate color with wide pockets and a beautiful wide waistband with 
these belt loops. These high-waisted wide leg silk pants are 30 mom silk and I'm a big fan of thicker silk because not only do they drape better but they're also more resistant to wrinkles pants i mean just look at the drape of it it's just beautiful and as i said they're very wide-legged and they're very long christmas is coming there's all kinds of different parties that you might have to go to get something like this it still looks very fancy it's super well put together and it definitely looks like you're ready to party. This cashmere sweater is just everything. It's so neutral and simple. The hoodie has the branding right here. It's embroidered. It's the little details on this hoodie that makes the whole difference. So I love that even the ties, which are only decorative really, they are a little bit more oversized. So it gives that really casual vibe but really luxurious and good quality feel to it absolutely a staple in my opinion it's one of those sweaters that if you live in somewhere a little bit chilly even if it's just a little bit you're gonna need something like this not only is the color so gorgeous i love a good gray sweater um it's plain in a way that is so easy to throw on like literally you don't have to think about it it has a nice solid zipper, a really gorgeous thick cashmere. It's so soft. It's one of those things that you really need for transitional weather. It's kind of like athleisure looking, um, just easy to throw on to go to your relative's house, but it also keeps you warm and it keeps you looking stylish. In the casual outfits, this piece is my favorite one. Another classic must-have. This is literally something that anybody can style without even using any brain power. So this is your classic cable knit sweater. It's part wool, part cashmere. It's so soft. It has a really cute little logo here. I think I have a sweater like that <laughs> with a little Hermes logo which no one sees really but it's just nice that it's there. So little details like that it makes you look put together without putting too much effort. Like I said, you could wear this with a pair of trousers for work or you could wear it with jeans like I did here which literally is the easiest thing to style. There's no styling involved, you just put it on. So this is really, really gorgeous. Last but not least, we have this very cozy cardigan, shawl lapel. It's also part cashmere, part wool. I think it's 10% cashmere content. It's a very cozy, kind of a bit oversized drop shoulder. I love the pockets here because it allows you to just hide your hands in it every time you're like not knowing what to do with your hands or you're just cold. It's the kind of sweater that you just can lounge around, but you can also sort of like, again, just put it on and go to your relative's house for a nice dinner. I can even see myself wearing this maybe in the springtime with a dress underneath, but it's still a little chilly, so I throw that on as my jacket. They source their cashmere with the most inner part of the Mongolian goat, which is the part that is the softest, which is why their cashmere is so excellent. Merino wool is also a thinner and suppler wool, which is why even their wool items are just as soft as their cashmere, so I highly recommend them. I'll have all the items I featured linked down below. You could also use my coupon code AMYC15 to save 15% site-wide. This is a great time to do your holiday Christmas shopping. It's also a great time to revamp your winter wardrobe, so you might as well check out all their winter arrivals as well. I already have the mini size in my original combination, which is just gold hardware with black shiny leather. So now that I have it in still shiny leather, but still a little bit different, uh, but white font. I just love the white font. I think it's so cool. Another thing that I noticed this time around, because again, this is a different season, judging from the leather on this one. And again, it's going to be really hard to describe through the camera. You can rewatch my first video when I unbox my first one, but from my memory, comparing the two, I feel like my first one had this very shiny very shiny coating on mine and it almost it's not quite plastic but it almost looks like plastic if that makes sense whereas this version however looks more like leather i don't know if it makes any sense like maybe because the creases are more prominent on this one and also the bag looks more matte for some reason it's still shiny calfskin apparently but it to me it looks more matte because when I compare 
this one to this one. Can you see how this one is more shiny, more similar to my first one? So I'm not sure if it's because they use a different leather on the ones that have the white font just to give it a different vibe or if it's just a different season so they have different leathers well hopefully this time around the leather will be okay either way i came prepared because that is the whole reason why i got these corrector pens from lux du jour because i know that this bag is prone to corner wear especially if you're really like really really just using it as your daily driver so you can sort of fix it yourself with this corrector pen of course the mini size has the smaller medallion this one has the slightly bigger one. The chains on the mini size also is a lot thinner. I would say it's probably more similar to the Chanel walk chain, whereas this one has a nice thick chain. Magnetic snap button, you see? And of course comes with this pouch. What do you guys use this pouch for, by the way? Whereas the mini size, which I'm going to link to my original unboxing video, the mini size only comes um, like this. So no magnetic closure, but it does have extra chains. It does have these extra chains and the top chains. I also showed you different ways to wear it. So you can check out my video. Like I said, with the bigger winter coats and with having to maybe bring that extra scarf, extra jacket, um, it's just nice to be able to throw it in the bigger size. Hopefully it helps those of you who are still thinking about which size to get. The letters, they're the same size on both bags. So now that you've seen all the outfits, I think you can totally see the two bags have totally different vibes, but they're still quite versatile in a way that both the larger size and the mini size can work with a variety and a range of different styles of outfit. Although in general, I will say this definitely looks more dressy. And if you need to go to maybe like a party or like a nicer dinner, then I definitely think that this is the size to get. Whereas this can be a wide range of things. It could be your business casual handbag. It could be your errands bag. It could be your casual day bag. So I feel like this is just as versatile, if not more. Whereas this one, the mini size, is more the one that I'm going to baby a bit more. Not in a sense that I'm going to actually baby it, but in a sense that I know I can preserve this more and have less wear and tear also because the size allows it to have less wear and tear because it's so much easier to even like tuck it underneath your jacket when it's like pouring outside to me i'm not so concerned about wear and tear on this one um whereas with this one yes i am more concerned about wear and tear and like i said earlier I am prepared for that in a sense that because I've owned this bag before, these are things that you can get on Daobao or like on Etsy. Um, I'm gonna see if I can link some down below. I'm sure there's a ton more now, maybe even on Amazon. So as you can see, I've inserted these protectors on the side. So that gives me a bit more confidence that this time around, this bag should wear and tear a little bit better, at least for the sides of the bag, I should be okay. In terms of the shape of this bag, I will repeat myself again. I totally recommend that you get an organizer because I already had this one from before, from my very first bag, so I'm just literally reusing it. But without it, it really becomes a big puddle when your things are inside. It just sinks into the middle and it deforms the bag. So I actually don't like the look of it without any support, without any of the structure. So I highly recommend that you get the Samorga 2mm. You just need something. If you have any more questions regarding the mini versus the small, let me know. Don't forget to check out Lily Silk with all the items that I have linked down below. Thank you so much for watching. Happy holidays and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.